A coil for a fusion stellarator is usually made in four steps. It starts with the manufacturing of a highest temperature superconducting tape. Superconducting cables are then made by winding the tapes on a metallic former. The cables are then used to make coils that are then installed on the stellarator vessel. The high temperature superconducting tape fabrication process starts with the electropolishing of a metallic substrate, usually hastaloid, in an acid bath to a surface roughness of around one nanometer. Several layers are then deposited to form the buffer layers needed to achieve an epitaxial growth of the high temperature superconducting film. The alumina is the first layer, and it is sputtered usually in the same chamber as the next layer, the yttria. After that, in an ion beam assisted deposition chamber, an epitaxial magnesium oxide layer is deposited. This is the most important layer of the whole process since it guarantees the growth of a single crystal like HTS layer. At high temperatures, a homoepitaxial magnesium oxide layer is then deposited, followed by a lanthanum manganate layer to provide robustness to the film and to match the lattice parameters of the high temperature superconductor. The high temperature superconductor layer, REPCO in our case, is then deposited using a metal organic vapor deposition machine at around 870 degrees C. This two micrometer thick layer is responsible for the zero resistivity at cryogenic temperatures. Another possible process for REPCO deposition is pulsed laser deposition, or PLD. A silver layer is then deposited to protect the high temperature superconductor layer. This layer also serves as a low resistivity electrical contact. A copper layer is then electroplated in a chemicals bath on both sides of the tape. This layer acts as a shunt layer. Superconducting cables are then made by winding the tapes on a metallic former. In this case, we are showing the Viper cable made in MIT that has four parts in addition to the high temperature superconducting tapes. There exist several other cable configurations. The stellarator coils are then made by winding the superconducting cables and all the needed sensors on a former. Insulation is then made by epoxy coating. The structure is then inserted into a stainless steel casing. And this is how the coils for Wendelstein 7X were made. The coils are then installed on the stellarator vessel. This was a big challenge during the assembly of Wendelstein 7X due to the complex geometry of the vessel. Tokamak magnets are less complicated than stellarator magnets thanks to the simpler geometry of the tokamak. The same three-step process is followed to make the tokamak magnets while winding the tape or the cable on a much simpler form. The magnets are then mounted on the tokamak vessel. Does it sound complicated? Yes, because it is. And do you want to contribute to a revolutionary simplification in how we make coils for fusion, energy storage, medical imaging, mobility, and other applications? Contact us at Renaissance Fusion in Grenoble, France.